Children go to school every single day at the same time, at the same place, in the same clothes. But where they come from is different. How do they live? What is their family like? With so many different versions of what we call family, we open the door to reveal the way Australians live and raise their children today. We have teen families or single parents. We have families living with someone with terminal illness or disease. We have billionaire families. We have families that live off the grid or expats that have traveled to another side of the world. Or we have same-sex families. Bewildered me to think what their homes must be like. What must they be going through? every day in their homes that is so different to what's going on in our homes. Well, in our family, there's three of us. We've got my little girl, Indiana, who's three and a half, and then my husband, George, and I. I've got two little girls, Zara and Isabel. They're five and eight, and I'm married to Charlie, who's really tall. I think every family is completely different. In our dynamic in particular, we both freelance, and we've had quite colourful lives. My husband's a break dancer, um, I'm in media, and Indiana just floats between the two of us, and we, we try and just juggle her as best we can. My husband travels a lot, so I'm home with the girls alone for about three or four days of the week. It's our new normal. I actually like my time alone and I like him being here, but it's, um, yeah, it's a different way of living. Well, what is normal? You know, I grew up with a beautiful family. I've got a sister and a mum and dad. I really didn't grow up in the most average home. We had the local petrol station in the country and that's how we grew up. And we grew up with customers coming in and out of our home. I grew up with a, an older sister and Two parents, of course. When I got a bit older, when I was in my sort of late teens, my parents split, um, and that was again getting getting used to a new normal. That could be really foreign <laughs> to a lot of people, but that's how I lived, and that's what I marinated in for so many years, and that's what I love to take my daughter back to. We love going back to the shop. It sort of changed me as a person. You know, it was a massive learning curve, but. I suppose it defines who I am today. This is not just a show to entertain, because it will. You get to unfold so many different journeys that are inspiring, that are cool, that are interesting. It's a story of love. It's a story of acceptance, socially showing the different types of people that are out there. What is their normal? Are you ready to meet the family?